former All Progressive Congress Chairman Bisia Kandi suffering from amnesia. Now Tenembo's lap dog, ex Vice President Atiku Kam hits back. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Spokesman for Atiku says such was not a big deal because at the time Atiku and Tenembo belonged to the same camp. Wow. It has gotten to a point where they now refer to each other as having amnesia. Like I said, it is that part of the year where lots and lots and lots and lot of things will be said. You see people who are going to be almost going as each other for us. But at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, it is, <laughs> it is just politically, in, as in, it is just because of the coming elections. Now the news in detail. The camp of ex-Vice President Atiku Abubakar has described Chief B.C. Akande, the pioneer of National Chairman of All Progressive Congress, APC, as a lap dog for Bola Tenbo, the All Progressive Congress National Leader. Akande and Tenbo were elected governors on the platform of Alliance for Democracy, A.D., in 1999. But while Akande, on the other hand, a other A.D. governor, Lost election in 2003, 20, 20, Tenembo survived the anti AG campaign, believed to have been spearheaded by the ex president Ulushe Gobasanjo. In his autobiography, My Participations, Akande, who was the national chairman of the Action Congress AC at the time, contested the national poll on the, on the platform of the party in 2007. Said Tenembu funded the party. Anytime we said we needed money, Atiku would say, Bola, please help us. Bola was the only one spending the money amongst us. The rest of us are poor. Tenembu also puts all his energy and resources into the formation of AC, Akande Root. But responding, Paul Eber, spokesman for Atiku, said, such was not a big deal because, at the time, Atiku and Turungu belonged to the same camp. He said, As at that time, Turungu and Atiku were the same stock. Political family. So what was the story there? Daily Post asked. Ibe told Daily Post. If they were not members of Action Congress then, like Asiwaju Tenembu and other stakeholders in the Action Congress, who was going to find for the funding. It was a presidential election that was run with Atiku Abubakar as a candidate. It was not run about him as an individual. Campaigns are funded. Where you are going to expect another party to fund it or another stakeholders from another party to fund it. It has to be funded by members of that party. And the last time I checked for my history, Asiwaju Tinumbu was a major stakeholder of that party. If Chief Bisi Akande, with all due respect to him, has chosen to be the lapdog of Asiwaju, all well and good. The people are recounting history. It must not be in another perspective. Otherwise, what is being recounted can only amount to mischief. As at that time, Azawaju and Atiku find themselves in the same political party. So if there was funding to be made, it had to be made by stakeholders and founders of a party. Tinimbo was a member and founder of Action Congress. So if there was a funding to be made, it, was, it had to be made by stakeholders and members of our family. Tenembo was a member and founder of AC, Action Congress. The presidential campaign was not about Atiku Abubakar. It was about advancing the interests of the APC as a party. So it does not appear on appear else. The presidential campaign was not about Atiku Abubakar. It was about advancing the interests of the AC as a party. That is it. 
let us get let us try and put this thing in proper perspective so that it does not appear if Atiku was working and asking him for something else. Atiku was asking him for money for something else. He has to fund the party, and there is no big deal in that people fund parties. Ibo father said Atiku also invested heavily in the Action Congress at that time, saying Akande could possibly be suffering from selective amnesia. Atiku was a standard bearer and everything was geared towards the promotion of the interest of the party. So it is expected that members of a party, major stakeholders, will fund that campaign. Make no mistake about it, Adiku Abubakar as a candidate was also a major funder of that campaign. Adiku was a standard bearer and everything was geared towards the promotion of the interest of a party. So, it is expected that members of a party, major stakeholders, should find out and campaign. For Baba Bizi to single out Senembo as somebody who contributes resources is like mischief. It is a selective amnesia. Apart from Tirengu as a major funder, there were also other individuals who contributed to the funding of that presidential campaign. So there was no need to single out any, any individual that they have contributed money. So make no mistake about it. That was exactly what happened. It is their responsibility. There was nothing abnormal about the situation. The reporter's song found his concerns now. Tinimba may have also contributed to that campaign. He was also a major stakeholder in the party. So there was no need to subs. If the intent was for mischief, Mr. B.C. Akande to only identify Chinobu as the sole founder, it was not like that. Hmm. Talk about drinking somebody's, um, drinking prastamol for somebody's headache. I, they, I tell you, I, I, <laughs> I tell you to be sincere. I just hope that, you know, this, all those dogs and all this element. All these things happening. I just pray that come next time, everyone who is out now blaming, doing finger blaming, pushing the blame from there to here and from here to there at the end of the day, this particular woman, I mean, at the end of the day, this particular program, this particular politics now that they are playing, people will have known what to do. People will now rise up and do the right thing against the wrong. That has been done to this country. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.